What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add and edit text in HitFilm for Express. So another new series starting this week as well, we had Camtasia earlier, now it's also HitFilm 4. I'm going to be starting off basic again and then we'll get into more advanced stuff. So for those that are familiar with Premiere Pro, you might look at this and say it's very similar, and I agree. However, it's just a bit more difficult or a bit more time consuming to add some text. So to do this, all we're going to do is make sure we're on the media tab down here. We're going to right click, select new and select composite shot. Now this is what you're going to get and it's the composite shot properties. I'm just going to name this text and everything else here should match your project. If it doesn't, then simply just adjust it and then select OK. Now from here, as you can see, we get the text button. So we're going to press this and we're simply going to drag out a box to how we want it. Then of course you can just type in your text. So I'm going to put casual savage for now. And I'm going to press Ctrl A so it is highlighted and now we're going to edit it. So you can come over here back to this corner and as you can see it says text. Now straight away we can change the font. Now the fonts you have downloaded in the past on your computer should also be listed here. So I'm going to go with this one which is known as Happy Killer. As you can see over to the side if your font does come in bold italic you will be able to select it from here. As you can tell my font doesn't. Here is the font size and we have a very nice slider here. So we can just slide it and make it bigger like so, really good feature. And then underneath it we have the line spacing or the spacing between each letter. So if I shorten this down and we spread this out, as you'll see the spacing between the letters will expand. And of course you can type in here as well just so it's easier. Now over to the side here as you can see we have line spacing. So if I just press enter here and then highlight one of them and then we simply bring up the line spacing, as you can see this is going to be the gap in between the text. And then the final thing down here is a stroke. So if I bring this up, as you can see, this is a red stroke. And if you go all the way, it's going to be too much. So just bring it up a bit. I'll probably recommend stay around three to seven. Again, all personal preference. And then down at the bottom, you can select your color of the stroke. So I'll go with a cyan here and select OK. As you can see, that is now a cyan stroke. And I'm going to highlight it again. And if you want to change the color of the text, as you can see over here to the side, we can select this box and we'll choose a black and select OK. Now it's black text with a cyan stroke and that is how simple it is to do. Now you can also make the text transparent. So the way you do that, highlight it all again and as you'll see we have this button here. If we select this, it's made the text transparent. So now if I drag a video in, the text will be able to show the video and it will be able to see the text still because there's going to be a stroke on top. Now another thing to notice, if you do want to shorten this box down, you will need to be on this text and then you'll need to come to the corner and simply drag it up like so. And then of course come to the move tool and just position this how you want it. So as you can see, I just dragged in an image I had on my computer, it's from the flying effect in Premiere Pro. As you'll see the text is still showing, it's transparent so you can see through it and it still has the stroke on it as well. Now the final thing I'm going to be showing you is alignment. So if I just double click this and highlight it all again, as you'll see at the bottom over here we have the alignment. So we can align it on the left, the center or the right. And that is how simple it is to align. Probably most people would like the center and of course just like that it is now center of this box. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully this video has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate and peace.